gunmen get onto a secure government facility like the D.C. Navy Yard. Let's bring in former U.S. Marine Corps Gunnery Sergeant Jesse Jane Duff from Concerned Veterans for America. Jesse Jane Duff, welcome to the program. How did this guy get in, and how did he get in with what I think was a rifle? Well, I don't believe that he had the rifle exposed when he went onto the base. I mean, getting onto the base, obviously he had an identification card from what we've gathered through various sources. Uh, so what I believe is as he went through the gate, he showed the ID card that he currently possesses because he worked for that subcontractor. And the subcontractor, it's been disputed whether he was fired or not, but maybe they didn't confiscate his badge if he had been fired. He got onto the base. Apparently he obtained another identification, which was from someone else, which they found on him when he was shot, which allowed him access to that particular building. All he had to do was swipe the card at that point, which got him into that building, and he had the access to do what he was doing. So there would be no, uh, Ms. Duff, no medical, metal detector that would detect whether he was carrying a, a concealed weapon, a handgun, for example, or maybe a broken down shotgun of some sort. What, what you normally see on, on a, a federal installation is that most people obtaining ID cards have already gone through various background checks. So there wouldn't be necessarily a reason to have you going through a medical, metal metal detector going through various buildings on the base, it pretty much would be an excess uh, in that type of environment. So no, it wouldn't pick up that he had a rifle in a pack or some sort of a carry-on. Jesse Jane, let me just ask you this, uh, from your experience as a security expert. A guy like this gets in there, however he gets in there, however he gets his rifle. He goes to the high ground, we've learned, what, the fourth floor. He starts shooting off, okay? Do you think that he thinks he's been in the yard before he could possibly get out and get away alive? You know, I would not like to speculate how crazy this guy is because doing what he did was blatantly crazy. I don't think he thought he would get out alive, but he may not even have thought that far ahead. You know, we see so many things inflated into the movies and theaters and who knows what type of dramatization was going through his head that he was going to suddenly be some superhero. But the reality is on a base like that, that's highly secure, mm. minimal on and off post access points was going to be surrounded immediately by security. So I don't expect that he thought he would get out alive. Yep must be delusional. That's the only thing I can think of. Jesse, Jane Duff, thank you very much. We appreciate your input. Tyler Matheson and I are going to be back with just a bit more. Stay with us, please.